my kitchen. So recently a few of you have suggested that I make some cactus cupcakes. So for this week's video tutorial I thought I would show you how to make these really fun fondant cupcake toppers. These cactus shapes also work perfectly to go around larger cakes, maybe around the side or as cake toppers. So let's get started. Okay, so in order to make my cactus cupcake toppers, first of all, I've got my cupcakes. So I've just baked a batch of vanilla cupcakes and I will put a link in the description below to all the recipes that I use in today's video. I've then got a round cookie cutter and I've just made sure that this fits on the top of the cupcake and this is going to be for the base of our toppers. I've also got a small batch of vanilla buttercream that I've just coloured in a pink selection of different colour fondants which I've just coloured in some really bright colours. I've then got a selection of tools which I will run through as we make each of the toppers. Now for my first cupcake I'm going to create a multicoloured background. So I've just got a turquoise blue and a dark pink for the background, a green for my cactus and just a light pink, a very small daisy plunger cutter and this one just measures around five millimeters across. The last thing that I've got is just some really tiny white round sprinkles. So taking my dark pink and my turquoise blue I'm going to roll this out. Now I want the finished disc that my cactus is going to sit on to be around three millimeters but I'm going to roll these out just so they're slightly higher so that I can roll them together and I'm just going to and cut out some strips. Now I want my strips to be around a centimeter in diameter. I'm going to trim the pink ones down slightly just so I don't get too much wastage and I want to alternate the colors so I'm going to pop blue next to that pink. Now once they're all laid out together I'm just going to make sure that they're pushed nice and close. Take my rolling pin, roll over the top just until they're nice and flat and all combined. But I'm first going to start creating my cactus just because I want to cut it out at the same time. Now I want the main part of my cactus to be about half the size of my disc. So I've just got a ball of fondant and this one just measures around an inch in diameter. I'm going to roll this out and just flatten this down just creating a teardrop shape just so it's slightly thinner at one end. Now I want the base of my cupcake to be at a slight angle and place on the start of my cactus. You can then pick up your cookie cutter. I'm going to use the scalloped edge. Just pick that up and neaten off that edge. So we've got the start of our cactus cupcake topper. I then want to finish off my cactus just by adding two more sections. So I'm going to take quite a small ball and one that is slightly bigger. Just roll those out and just flatten that down slightly. I can then take a craft knife and just cut off one of those edges. Do exactly the same with my smaller piece. Push my finger into the section where we cut just to curve that round slightly. Stick that onto my cactus. Now I want it to look like it's got small spikes on there and you can either paint these on or I'm just going to use really small white sprinkles so I'm just going to pick them up with my paintbrush. Now my paintbrush just has a really small amount of that edible glue left stuck on there so it will pick them up. I can then just push them into the surface of my cactus. Now I've got a very small amount of green edible tint that's just slightly darker than my green cactus. Now I'm going to pop that onto a small brush. Try and dust off as much as I can. I'm then going to just paint this on the edges to give it a bit of depth. Now to finish this one off I'm just going to add some really small flowers just to the edge. So I've got some lighter pink fondant. I'm going to roll this out using my small flower plunger cutter. I'm just going to cut out some really small flowers. 
Now I'm gonna go in with my Dresden tool and just put some very small dents just in the center, just to give it a bit of shape. Use some edible glue just to pick those up and just pop those on the end. So there we have our first cupcake topper. Now I'm gonna pop this to one side just until that base has hardened slightly so we can lay it on flat on our cupcake. Okay, so for the base of my next cupcake, I'm gonna do it in exactly the same way. So just create the stripes and add them together. But this time I'm just gonna do it with a turquoise and a purple. Now for this cactus, I'm just gonna take another ball of the green fondant. And this one again is around an inch in diameter. I'm gonna taper this one off, but keep it quite long and thin. And just place that on to my cupcake topper. Now I'm gonna go in with my cutter this time and just trim that off. Now, instead of putting two balls next to this one, I'm gonna have them come in out. So I'm gonna take two balls, both around a centimeter in diameter, start to roll thin sausage shapes. Bend those round so we've got a 90 degree angle and just cut the edge. Now again, as I did before, I'm just gonna push my thumb into those just to round that off slightly. And that can then sit just against the main body of the cactus. Now I'm gonna put this one slightly higher up. Take my Dresden tool and I'm just gonna run it up the length of my cactus just to create some dents in there. I've then got my green edible tin that I used on the last one. And again, I'm just gonna dust off any excess and just go up the bottom all the way up those lines that we created. Now, this time, instead of adding the small round sprinkles, I've actually got some white candy strands. So I'm gonna use my tweezers, pop the end in some edible glue, push those into my cactus. I'm gonna add these all the way around, just so it looks like the cactus has got some spikes. So there we've got our second fun cactus cake topper. So for my third cake topper, I'm just using some light pink and some dark pink for the base. So I'm gonna have three separate strands coming up. Now I've got three balls of green icing again, so a slightly larger one, just under an inch, one that's around a centimetre and one that's slightly smaller. Now I'm gonna roll these out and again taper them down, but I want to keep it quite long and quite thin. Place that onto my topper. So I'm doing exactly the same. I can then pop that next to my first one. So just parting at the top. And again, the same for the third one. I'm just gonna make this one slightly smaller. I can then bring in my cutter and just line up that bottom, cut that out. Now for this one, this is gonna have lines running down. I am gonna add some of those small white sprinkles and also some red flowers to the top. I can then go back in with my green as I did before. So I'm just adding some darker color to the bottom and just running up the lines we've created. Now for this one, instead of just adding the small balls anywhere, I'm gonna run them up those lines that we created. Now for the flowers, I've just got some red fondant. I can then bring back in my small flower plunger cutter and just cut out a few of those flowers and add them to the top of my cactus. So there we have our third cactus topper. Now, once these are all dry, I'm gonna bring back in my cupcakes. And taking my offset spatula, I'm just gonna put a small amount of that buttercream on the top of my cupcake, just so that the cake topper will sit flat. Now, you can always put a buttercream swirl and place these on top, it's entirely up to you. So with all three of those toppers placed on, here we have the finished cactus cupcake. I really hope that you've enjoyed the video tutorial and will enjoy making your own cactus cupcakes. If you have, then don't forget to give this video a like. And as always, if you'd like to see more videos like this, then don't forget to head over to the Cakes by Lens YouTube channel. You can also subscribe to the channel while you're there and hit that notification bell just to alert you every time a new video is uploaded.
I'll also put a link in the description below to all my social media and all the tools that I used in today's video. So until next time, bye!